and we're back on the roof. So we got this unit here. Apparently it's been having intermittent problems where sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, uh, which is super annoying. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on with this. Uh, we think it might be that, uh, this guy, but uh, um, it's been replaced before. So we're gonna check it out and see what's going on. So here we go. W to C, I have a call. Uh, inducer is spinning. Yep, but it's not doing anything. I don't have any error codes or nothing, which is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and reset this guy. But before I do that, I wanna make sure there's actually gas coming through. Uh, so there's a regulator right here and it snows and it freezes and it's been raining a lot. This right here is called a limiter. This is what allows you to put one of these inside uh, without having to run a vent outside. Uh, but when they put them outside, you're supposed to put what's called a vent protector. There's a picture of it. And that pre basically prevents water from getting in because what will happen is water gets in here. And then when it gets super cold, it freezes and it causes the uh, gas to not pass through it. Uh, so when that happens, then you don't get any gas and then you get a failed ignition. So we're thinking that's what happened with this. Uh, so because of that, I have another one. The problem is, is... Uh, Nobody stocks the stupid vent protectors, so I have to order one. So we're gonna, if, if I determine that's the problem, we're gonna go ahead and replace that and I'll come back and put the vent protector on there. Uh, but yeah, so, cause apparently this valve has been changed and so has that, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, you know, that thing, the regulator. Yeah, anyway, so let's go ahead and see if we have gas. We're just gonna open this port up. If there's gas, it should come spewing out. For safety, I've disconnected the igniter just in case. I don't want that thing turning on. Well, we got gas. All right, our pressure switch is closed. So we may have a problem with the smart valve. Or in this case, the not so smart valve. According to the schematic, black and white is 24 volts all the time, whether there's a call or not. And okay, so we got 24 volts. Uh, so white is common. So for blue and white, that's our pressure switch. So our pressure switch is what energizes this valve, okay? Um, this orange wire is ODP output and basically whenever it detects flame it'll send 24 volts to the blower or I'm sorry to the circuit board telling it that you know it's ignition has processed and then it'll turn other stuff on so uh, that's why we don't have any voltage there uh, unless it lights and so that means that this valve is bad so all our control boards and everything are working. So we might have a bad connector or something. I'm, it's hard to say, but uh, yeah, I spoke to the last tech here and he had banged on the, on that thing, on the uh, regulator and it, it came on. So, but that regulator is on the same line. So that's probably what happened. So um, I don't think it's a regulator cause we got gas. I'm just still gonna come back and put that uh, vent protector on there but we need to see if we can find another one of these valves. Black and white, 24 volts all the time, call or not. Um, the blue goes through the pressure switch, so that's what calls for this. And then the orange is sends 24 volts to the uh, control board, which tells it ignition is complete and then it'll turn on fan and whatever. So yeah. so. I need to see if I can find one of these and get this changed out and then hopefully everything works. All right, so we're back on this one. Got the smart valves. Also got one of these guys. That's the igniter thing. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put a new uh, regulator, even though it's the old one's fine, but it's got, you see this this thing right here? That's, a, that's what's called a limiter and that's pretty much for indoor use only. If you're gonna go outdoor, you wanna have this big blue thing. It's called a vent protector. So you just unscrew that little brass piece which is the limiter see and then you just screw this on of course nobody carries them in stock so we have to stock them but they're really easy to do and i was just going to put this on the old one but we're worried that there already might be water in there so we don't want to risk them going down again so i'm going to replace the regulator the gas valve and then the igniter assembly cleared away so we're going to break this here at the uh, uh at the union so this is a spud wrench known as a monkey wrench works great for gas valves and for unions all 
All right, so we're gonna take off the pilot tube here. And that is a 7, 7 16 wrench to get that unscrewed. This is called pipe dope. I brought it with me from California. I haven't been able to find it in Oregon. I have one more, so after that, I'm gonna have to use the crappy stuff here. Um, I don't use tape. I know a lot of you say I'm supposed to use both, but uh, I've had luck with this. Make sure you got the arrow pointing the right way, this way. So, yeah. And then putting on our vent protector. And we'll leave this cap off because we need to set the gas pressure for this first. But we're going to check for gas leaks, so we'll pop this up. This is going to squirt out a little gas. That's normal. And then we will wipe off the excess dope. We got our binometers hooked up. This is our inlet. This is our outlet. So we want to start with the outlet. So you can see here that currently we are at zero PSI, and that's because I have the gas off. So we're going to turn the gas on. Where is it? It's somewhere here. There it is. That whistle, that was just the excess coming out of there. Alrighty, so we are about 8.25. Um, so that means when it's running, it's probably gonna run around seven. So I would say we don't need to adjust that. So that's cool. So we're gonna go ahead and cycle the heat on this and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm jumping out heat, arc heavy. My batteries kick it on, that's a good sign. Now we do have some air in the line. So it might not light the first time. Okay, we got igniter, but we didn't get our pilot to light. All right, so I've removed the adjustment for the pilot. I can hear gas coming out of there. Still no ignition. Again. So I'm going to try adjusting the, the, the pilot, just trying to make it a little bit stronger. Okay, I hear gas. Ignition and igniter's on. Okay, it lit. Let's see what our gas pressure is looking at. It's at 3.52, so it's about where it needs to be. I'm gonna crank her down just a smidge. I find that usually about 3.4 is a good good number for us here. We're gonna light her up a bunch of times because I just want to make sure it lights up every time. Uh, but yeah, I basically just turned up the pressure for the uh, pilot. All right, so we're gonna try her again. All right, so here's our igniter, or our pilot. So the hood here wasn't point, it was kind of pointed inwards, like not towards the igniter. So I kind of bent it out. So hopefully that'll get us consistent ignition. Well, I'm gonna cycle it a bunch more times just to make sure, but I think we're pretty much good. The pilot just like ignites like super quick uh, before I had to blow on it. And that was just because that hood wasn't pushing the, the gas directly into the igniter. So anyway, we adjusted the, um, the pilot from there. That's a cap, so you take that off and then you can use the tiny little flathead to adjust that. So we cranked that up already adjusted our gas pressure, we put all of our plugs back on, we adjusted our uh, igniter, or I'm sorry, our regulator, and we put one of these vent protectors, that's what they're called, the official name of this is a vent protector. Um, so yeah, we should be good to go. So hopefully if you come across one of these 
dumb valves, I mean uh, smart valves, uh, this video helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you want to support the channel and you like my tools, pick them up on my Amazon store. And if you like my socks, pick up some socks. Thanks for watching.